AF, we're on the move. Back with another one. All right, guys, thanks for watching my video here today. I appreciate y'all for showing up. First and foremost, before we get started with the video, please hit the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so each and every time a video is dropped, you're notified of that. Why is that very important for my channel? Well, if you need leads for ammo, if I get any kind of leads, if any of my network, any of the people that send me uh, tips on ammo, I try to share that with my subscribers and I put it out in community feeds. Um, I put it out in short videos sometimes. Um, so if you want to be in the end, please make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are notified. All right, let's get into the video. So I did a top three best way to find ammo video about nine months ago or so. And I got a lot of positive feedback about it. Uh, a lot of people found, helped a lot of people find ammo and have ideas how to find ammo. So I figured it's 2021, the ammo shortage have changed. So the rules of engagement have changed. Okay. Prices are different. Certain websites are no longer selling ammo online. There's a lot harder to find the ammo. We got two box limits on a lot of places. So the whole game has changed. So the whole mindset has to change on the best ways to find ammo. All right. So let's get into my number one tip for you guys. My number one tip for you guys is research. Okay. And what do I mean by research? Do I mean go on Google and grab your Encyclopedia Britannica for all you old guys out there and do a book report? No, that's not what I mean by research. I mean, figure out your area, okay? Everybody's area is different. My area is in Houston. Um, I have different options you might have somewhere in North Dakota. So research, research what's around you, okay? What stores around you that sell ammo? How many mom and pop stores? You know, figure out what's close to you, what's in your area. I start to call these stores, build a relationship with these stores, okay? If it's a big box store, call a big box store. Hey, you know, what day do you guys get a shipment in on ammo usually? Be, honestly, a lot of the uh, people will tell you. Sometimes they'll be kind of secretive and they won't tell you. But a lot of times they'll just tell you, hey, we get our trucks on Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Cool. So now you already got a, a roadmap of when the ammo comes in. Okay. Call your mom and pop stores. Okay. Call them. Hey, you guys got any ammo in stock? They're a lot more in that to tell you, hey, we got something in stock, what we have, what they don't have. Uh, big box stores might be a little bit different because they're a lot more busy, right? So they might not have the time to tell you what they have in stock and stuff like that. But the mom and pop stores might. So call those stores, all right? Websites, all right? So we know it's changed on the websites, okay? It's a lot harder to find ammo online, okay? The days of finding ammo for under 200 bucks for a thousand rounds of nine millimeter target ammo, those days are gone. So let's change our mindsets of how we think about ammo, okay? Those days are gone. If you think you're gonna walk into a store and walk out with 500, 1,000 rounds of ammo, it's probably not gonna happen for you. It's more like you're gonna walk out with 100 rounds, 200 rounds for each store you go to, okay? So we got to think about that differently, right? So we're so used to walking in the stores, grabbing how much ammo we needed and walking out. So do your research, guys. There are websites still out there. I tell people a lot of times online it's kind of dead for ammo. Um, and then people always point to these um, ammo search websites. I'm not going to say which one it is because YouTube messed my video. But there's a lot of uh, ammo search engines out there that uh, point you to these weird websites. One, you might, you're probably going to get ripped off. Um, if you don't get ripped off completely, and it'd be like some bogus website. It's going to be ripped off for the fact that you're going to find a halfway decent price on the ammo, but then they're going to charge you 49, 50, 60 bucks shipping for the ammo. And all of a sudden your savings out the window, and you're paying gals prices. All right. So be aware of these search engines that everybody thinks a magical way. All right. So anybody watching this video, I'm going to leave a link below and you can go to this magical link. And then all of a sudden you're going to, the ammo's going to flow like Niagara Falls. That's not what I'm doing here, guys. I'm building your mindset and giving you ideas on how to find the ammo. Um, and that, that I've been successful at that. My subscribers have been successful at And I've been doing this for about a year now. And I've got a lot of different methods on how I find ammo uh, in the least amount of time. So there are websites that sell some ammo. I checked up. I can't tell you which ones because they'll, YouTube, they'll mess with my video. But you can figure it out read between the lines. There are a lot of ammo manufacturers that sell ammo from their websites. Okay. So a lot of those websites you can go to, you can get them. They'll ship it to you. They'll charge you like $12 shipping. If you send a certain amount of money, it's free shipping. All right. The prices aren't, you know, $17, $16 a box, um, but they're not outrageous. Okay. So maybe you can score 200, 300 rounds of ammo and, and not break the bank. Okay. So make sure you do your research. And when you go out these places, there are places, the big box stores have ammo, guys. So people saying, oh, there's no ammo. Oh, blah, blah, blah. The ammo's there, man. I'm telling you, I've seen it. My subscribers have seen it. Um, I know different areas are differently, and we'll address that here in a second. All right? So make sure you do your research. 
All right, number two, plan. Guys, you got to plan. All right, when I say plan, what do I mean? So say you live in a city. I live in Houston. So I know there's maybe three, four, five academies around me. There's Bass Pros around me, Camper World, which I will never go to again. Watch my other video on that. Um, I have mom and pop stores. So what I'll do is I'll make a plan up. So I'll make sure that, you know, Vesta opens at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I show up to that store 20 minutes before 9. I walk into the store. If I score, cool. I'm out of there. If I, if I find what I needed at one store, then my search is done for the day. If not, I have everything on the map of which one I'm going to next. And then I go to the second store. If I score, boom, I'm good. If not, I move on to the next store or so on and so on and so on. And with this, you save time, guys. I know we all got families. I got a, I got a five-month-old daughter. I got another daughter. I have a wife. I work a nine to five like you guys. I don't have any kind of extra time. Uh, I, I do all my ammo hunting in one day. Okay, so one day I, I do all my ammo hunting. I don't do any more than one day. Sometimes if I'm feeling cheeky about it, maybe I might go two days a week. All right, but usually I try to do one day a week. If I do more than one day a week, I'm just doing it for the channel to help you guys out. All right, plan around it. Plan around how many stores you can get to in the shortest amount of time, uh, especially with big box stores. You know, big box stores open at nine o'clock. You know, so they put the ammo out. So, you know, at certain times, a lot of times the ammo will run out. Um, so then you go there and you get, if they're out of the ammo, you can just go to the next store. Sometimes the next store might not have as much traffic as the first store. Uh, so make sure you're trying to use these tactics, all right? So that's another tactic you can use. Make sure that you're planning, even on the websites. Um, you know, make sure that you uh, get go on to these websites, knowing what time uh, they get in stocks. A lot of times you go to a lot of websites and a lot of uh, YouTubers and things like that, a lot of ammo hunters, and they'll give you tips. You're going to the comment section, and people tell you, oh, it goes into stock at this time. I've learned so much by just reading YouTube comments for ammo seekers um, from my page and other people's page, all right? So don't be afraid to learn and think outside the box, all right? Which leads into my tip number three, and one of my most important tips. Think outside of the box, y'all, all right? Start thinking of ammo differently. I know we're so used to, you know, going and getting whatever we want, man, paying low prices for walking out, and we just think, and, I, and it's stuck in our minds of that. We have to get out that mindset. I tell people all the time, if you go to a store and you see ammo, you're looking for 9mm, they don't have 9mm. But then all of a sudden, you look, and you see something like this, right? You see something like this, which is, I think, 300 rounds, 360 rounds of 308. Now ask me the question, what do I chamber the 308? Absolutely nothing. I don't have a three, anything chamber 308. However, this is currency, guys. This 308, 360 rounds, there's people that have cut their left arm off to get some 308. So what I'm gonna do at some point, is I'm gonna trade that or barter that for something else. All right, so say I need 500 rounds of nine millimeter. I'm gonna trade that for 509 millimeter. And I guarantee you, no one's gonna say, oh no, I'm not gonna give you 509 nine millimeter. Some people hunt more than they target shoot. Okay, so start thinking about the ammo as currency. Do, for example, ask me what I have chambered in 308 again. I don't have anything chambered in 308, but I have these. These are gonna be bought or traded at some point. All right, 30 out of six. I don't have any 30 out of six, guys. I don't have anything in 30 out of six, nothing. But this is money, y'all. This is gold. All right, do I need, do I have 357 SIG? No, I don't, but I got 357 SIG defensive ammo. This is gold. People are looking for this stuff, guys. All right, locally. You can trade locally. All right. Do I need this much 9mm HSTs defensive ammo? Probably not. But if I need target 9mm, guess what? This is getting traded. All right. Think outside the box. Guys, go on Facebook. There's groups in Facebook and other groups that have gun groups. Join as many gun groups that you can in your area or in different areas. These people have tips on there. They'll say, hey, I just went to so-and-so and post a picture of somebody's in stock or they might have an idea or a website or something that will link you to some ammo, all right? Join these two-way websites. Go to your local forums, you know, gun forums in your state and look up gun forums. Go to your local YouTubers. Go to YouTubers that's in your state, in your area, all right? Think outside the box for this ammo, guys. Ammo is currency, guys. This is currency. 30 out of six is so hard to find, but I found it. I wasn't going looking for it, but I found it because I'm going to use it, all right? Think of ammo as currency, y'all. It's not easy work finding ammo anymore, okay? All the, if you think it's going to be a simple link or someone's going to magically show you ammo, those days are long gone. It's all about the mindset, the mindset of how you're doing ammo and how you go about getting the ammo. It's available, and it's out there, and it's been proven. 
not by me, but by many people that subscribe to the channel, people that come to visit the channel. We score all the time, y'all. All right, make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe, so y'all can be part of the, 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 the engine, right? So we can build this network up so that we can find ammo, not get ripped off. And these days and times are getting tougher and tougher, y'all. All right, so make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. All my social medias will be at the bottom. Everybody that knows me knows. Hit me up on any of my social medias. If you need help finding ammo, I'll get back to you. I respond to all my DMs. I respond to everything. I try to respond to as many comments as I can. Make sure you leave a comment section in the bottom. Let's comment. Let's get the conversation started. AF, we're on the move. Like, subscribe. See you next time.